We need to talk about the empathy deficit. Those are the words of Barack Obama. He might have been talking about 2016, a year of great division in many societies. In fact, he was talking 10 years earlier, but empathy is now a very hot topic. I've just written a book called The Empathy Instinct, How to Create a More Civil Society, published by John Murray. I've written it because I've been helping the British government build a new Holocaust memorial in central London, and I've met survivors of mid-20th century Germany and contemplated with them what it was to be in a society without empathy. And secondly, I've been involved in arts funding for the last four years, and we've looked at how arts and culture essentially tell human stories and help us put ourselves in other people's shoes, and therefore they're very pro-empathetic. So the book looks at the science of empathy, what primatology, neuroscience, genetics is now telling us, and then it says how, and that's an amazing story by the way, but it then says how can we apply that knowledge to create kinder health and social care, a more effective criminal justice system? How do we tackle what I call the digital dystopia, the world of cyberbullying and radicalization and extreme porn? And how do we indeed defeat racism, which is essentially a problem of empathy because you're empathetic to people in your own tribe and often hostile to people outside your tribe. So I hope the book will really make a contribution to saying what we are now understand, which we didn't know 20 years ago about empathy, how can we really make that count in creating better societies?